So, so yeah. what was your comedy growing up? Or, or I'm sure it was your dad or your mom. Who was, uh, who? Mostly my dad. Yeah. What was the, yeah, my, have my like dad was, my, my, go ahead. Oh, no, I was just going to say, uh, was there a show they, like, you guys like to watch as a family that was like, oh, my God, this is, this is amazingly funny well, or, or. Well, as a family, uh, it was more, you know, American sitcoms like, uh, I can't even remember now. Uh, and there's a lot of rerun culture when I was a kid. So, like, I was watching the Dick Van Dyke show. Um, it, it was already in reruns, I think, you know. But, uh, you know, Mary Tyler Moore, stuff like that. Um, the Flip Wilson show, big, big in our house. And But late night in Canada, actually, I think even before it was on in America, in Toronto, you could see Monty Python's Flying Circus. But my dad would watch that. My mother okay. wasn't that interested in it. Um, <laughs> but, you know, we... My, both my parents are from Liverpool, England. So a lot of British culture was given a wide berth in our house. So, I mean, obviously the Beatles were a huge part of my life. And I became a musician mainly because I wanted to be cool like Paul McCartney and John Lennon and George Harrison and Ringo. But at the time it was Paul McCartney and John Lennon. And, uh, and you know, and then comedy, when Python came along, it was like there was a Beatles of comedy. Yeah. So yeah. We, we there were the same thing and we understood British we understood that there was British groups that would be cooler than anything we could think of. So suddenly Python and the Beatles were equal. And it's interesting because Eric Idle and George Harrison were good friends. And, you know, there's a lot of cross talk between those two troops, you know. So that that's a very big part of all three of our, you know, all three brothers. Like we all, Beatles and Python, anything, 